culture is power, history is knowledge. How's it going? Chicano ideas. Always leave your thoughts and comments where we like to enjoy and talk about history and sharing our thoughts about growing up Chicano, stuff about Chicano. Let me talk about my thought of the Chicano influence on Mexicans. Do Chicanos have influence on Mexicans and how can we influence Mexicans straight from Mexico? Chicanos influence Mexicans to where the creativity of the Cholo identity, for example, spread into Mexico. You got 18th Street, MS13 being in El Salvador. You got the idea of Sureño, Ese, Cholo mentality in Mexico, Norteños, Mexico. The identity of Cortez's socks to your knees, Pendleton's got and taken on upon the Mexicans from Mexico. But what other, how can we as Chicanos influence Mexicans, especially the generations of Chicanos that have been here and understand the movement, the political identity, Chicanismo, and, you know, who is relevant of when it comes to our leaders that we had, the movement of history of being so-called Mexican-American and not and understanding the system of how we can inspire Mexicans to educate themselves. If they were able to create these gang politics out there based off the Chicano mentality of the streets out here, what if we had what if they had the brown barrette mentality? What if Mexicans had let's use the brown barrettes as an example, use that type of mentality and identity and brought it to Mexico and was about the revolution and about being an uh, activist and having a revolutionary mindset. So in one ways, like how can we educate our people to where you know, they stop coming here to work on the fields. I think, you know, Mexicans need to stop working on the fields for and let the United States see how it is by not having Mexicans work on the fields because I made videos about that and it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy uh, trying to get people to, so-called U.S. citizens to work on fields, to work in those chicken barns in North Carolina and and the South over there working those chicken coops, ripping off chicken heads. It's not easy. I, I, I should have. There's a video about it before that I talked. But if we just had influence and, hey, listen, you guys got, as Mexicanos and as Chicanos, we got a power here. We got remittance that I shared and then talked about. Mexicans send about uh, like hundreds of billions of dollars, like 90, like 100 billion a year to Mexico. Mexicans sending Mexi Mexico is getting a percentage of that. They get, you know, like very little cut of that remittance and it, it funds, they get like <clears throat> a good 20 billion, let's say from the 100 billion that's sent from remittance. And all the Chicano, uh, the, the power that we have when it comes to us spending money, we have like uh couple of trillion dollar spending rate annually a year as one being Latinos but what is uh, the Mexican American spending habit separate than uh, the East Coast Latinos that say the Puerto Ricans and the Cubans and then the Mexican Americans and you know we have this uh, which I will be sharing about those I'm saving for a next video but we have this power this buying power and if we use that, let's say we Mexicans, okay, so annually, let's say uh, in your city, you find out that Mexicans out of your town in San Jose uh, a month, they send about $500,000 is coming out of San Jose being sent to Mexico. So what if for one month, okay, 
we try to say, hey, listen, let's not use that money. Let's use that money to uh, buy something here. But see, that's another video. But see, we got to uh, understand the buying and power that we have and amongst each other. And we got to teach Chicanos, got to teach Mexicans, like, about this political power they have about, you know, hopefully Mexico could one day we could tell our Mexican people be a structured country, but they have to fight for it. And maybe in the future, we could have their backs as being Chicano, so-called citizens. And somehow, you know, that's how Mexico uh, would be able to, you know, Mexicans and not being able to have to work on the fields for the United States. And, you know, let's make the United States do that and not rely on our people. But we have a influence and a impact on how we as a people, as Chicanos, need to unite and influence and have Mexicans understand, you know, hey, this is, you know, the game over here, the political game. Yes, we have these rights, but you have power, too, in your numbers. If you guys stop coming over here, they would sink because no one would be wanting to work on the field or in these chicken coops. And, you know, hopefully one day Mexico can, the Mexicans, there are people don't have to come here and they could live on their land and help fix their own country to where we want to, uh, you know, somehow be able to have an impact on that and buy land there. As Chicanos, we can buy land in Mexico. But peace out. Other than that, share your thoughts and comments.